In this video, we will feature international celebrity chefs' reaction about Filipino food. But before that, please subscribe to my channel, Binoy Proud and Pride TV. Jeffrey Sakarian is Armenian-American chef, restaurant, television personality, and author. He is featured on several television programs on the Food Network, including Chop and The Next Iron Chef. What can you say about the Filipino food? Traditional dish of Filipino adobo. Oh, Wait, yeah. got it. I can... Oh. We're going to sear it skin side down, get a really good color. You can see the color that's happening here. It just looks fantastic, oh. right? There's just so okay. much flavor. So, when they get nicely crusted, we're going to take them out, put them on a dish. Get it because it's so simple, and you can make this in basically start to finish about 45 minutes. And this, don't forget this. Mm -hmm. All, All that stuff. stuff. But after, you get this. Marcus Samuelson is an Ethiopian, Swedish chef, and restaurant. He is the head chef of the Red Rooster in Harlem, New York. What can he say about the Filipino food? Try a lot of different dishes. It's also a chance for me to taste foods and dishes that might not be on restaurant menus. Really home-cooked Filipino food. On a spit, and then I deboned the body, rolled it all up with pork loin, and then stuffed it with Filipino sausage. Oh, nice! Wow. Nice! Some longanisa in the house. Yes! Yeah. Drop your phone and just be in the moment. This is so delicious. Nice. Guy Fieri is an American restaurant, author, and an Emmy Award-winning television presenter. He co-owns three restaurants in California, licenses his name to restaurants in New York and Las Vegas, Nevada, and is known for hosting various television series on the Food Network. What can he say about the Filipino food? Look at this, dude. Outrageous. Lots of flavor little vinegar sauce this is what really makes it oh. and what does the adobo mean vinegary mix it up rash it down well, now we're done with this we're done with this great mm. oh that's not a dip if i didn't like this there you go A lot of flavors in this. The meat's super, super tender. Got a little bit of smoke on it. A little spice up. Andrew Seymour is an American culinary expert, chef, restaurant, and television personality. He is well known for his shows, Bizarre Foods with Andrew Seymour. What can he say about the Filipino food? I think Filipino food is, you know, I've been calling it for five years. It's just going to keep getting more and more popular simply because of the variety of ingredients and European techniques that are found in that food. Their use of acidity, the, the quality of their food has the best of Asian cuisine. This egg is one of the stalwart national dishes of the Filipino culture, and one of my favorite foods, period. Mm. The Phil Am Foods version is skillet crisps with plenty of peppers and vinegar. Throw over it. Wow. That was one of the strangest foods I've ever eaten in my entire life. But so unexpectedly better than the way I thought it would be. I you thought like the it? They just pop them in the deep fryer. There's the little leg and the little thigh. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but it tastes just like chicken. Gordon Ramsay is a British chef, restaurant, 
and television personality. He is well known for his shows, Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmares, and The F Word. What can he say about the Filipino food? So I have a Filipino-inspired pork adobo burger. The key here is to mm. take the bacon and actually grind it into the patty. Mm. So you get a nice, right. juicy bacon oh. flavor. And then, of mm. course, you add the quintessential adobo flavors, which is uh, vinegar, soy sauce, bay leaves, mm. lots of mm. garlic. All right, Gordon. Good thing. Um, seasoned beautifully. Seasoned and beautifully. That, and that goat cheese is a richness as well. Um, the bun, that's a traditional Filipino. Oh, yeah, it is. It's called okay. pandasol. Yeah, of course. Sweet. Delicious. Well, yeah, really good. Yeah. You know what? It's kind of like coming down to a decision, Gordon. You have to make a decision. I mean, here's the thing. Two good burgers. That's okay. Right. Um, a touch more seasoning. Um, could them with a touch more spice and then lift it up. But we're going to go with the Filipino. Whoa! Anthony Bourdain was American chef, book author, journalist, and travel documentarian. He's well known for his shows, Anthony Bourdain No Reservations, The Layover, and Anthony Bourdain Parts Unknown. What can he say about the Filipino food? Okay, number I seven. I know what this is. This is balut, isn't it? It is. This is the fertilized, basically it's fetal duck egg. Yeah. It's a half-term duck. Very popular in the Philippines and Vietnam. And... Oh! Oh! oh this isn't a bad one. Usually... I hate mascots. You know they fart in those suits. Oh yeah, chicken and spaghetti, and not just any spaghetti. I think it's like sweet banana ketchup-y stuffed with hot dogs. Probably the best thing you could ever eat with a cold beer. Talk, of course, about sisig. Hot sizzling pig face with a runny egg on top and bitch you better ask somebody because nothing is getting in between me and this spicy chewy fatty goodness that that mix it up and go yeah. 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 there's a lot of basic recipes how about you what can you say about their reactions about our filipino food please comment like and subscribe to my channel this is Pinoy Proud and Pride TV. Thank you so much for watching.